So yeah, I asked this question on my LinkedIn profile and also in the source head community and the responses I got were quite interesting. Let's start with the question first. Should you learn several CAD software or should you just stick with one? Answers to this question were very clear and straightforward. And actually, I also have an opinion which I'll share in this video. Now, the choice of the software that you should learn does not directly depend on you. Now, that may feel a bit counterintuitive, but hear me out. I mean, of course, you can learn any CAD software that you want, but I'm sure you would not want to learn a software that is not used by a company in your niche. Essentially, every software has a preferred industry. As an example, aerospace and aeronautics companies, they usually prefer CATIA. Automobile manufacturers have multiple preferences ranging from CATIA, NX, SOLIDWORKS to even Fusion. Heavy equipment manufacturers prefer SOLIDWORKS, NX and more. And companies relying heavily on drafting and manufacturing drawings tend to use AutoCAD a lot and the list goes on. So the point is, you should learn a software that your target company is using. But not everyone can easily get a job in any target company. Also, different companies use different software. That makes things even more confusing. So that's what I'm going to answer here. So the answer is this. Learn one software really well. And I mean really, really well. And then you can learn rest of the softwares whenever required. For example, if you are learning SOLIDWORKS, then learn part modeling, sketching, assembly, drafting, sheet metal, surfacing, simulation, uh, machining, workbenches of SOLIDWORKS and everything else that is required. In fact, if you are completely new to SOLIDWORKS, then we have a free SOLIDWORKS essential course in which you can sign up right now and start learning it right from scratch in a step-by-step -step way and that too completely for free. Check the link in the description if you want to start learning SOLIDWORKS. By the way, after you finish that course, you'll also get a certificate of completion. Again, that's absolutely free. I've added the link in the description and also in the pinned comment. Now, once you master it, once you master your one software, this skill is essentially transferable to other softwares as well. And the learning curve will be of just a few weeks if you want to learn a new software. So most of these parametric softwares are similar. You won't have to worry too much about learning all the software. But does that mean you should only focus on one software? Well, the answer is not at all. Now, you should also have working knowledge of at least two to three other softwares like Fusion, Kadia, and maybe NX. But don't go in depth in all these softwares. As I mentioned previously, just master one software, but have a working knowledge of several others if required. Now, this working knowledge will come in handy when your target company is using a software that is not your preferred one. But as you know the basics, you can easily learn to fulfill all the job requirements and you can also transfer all your skills from one main software to this new one. Now, what about the dedicated software for machining and FEA or maybe even CFD? In my opinion, you should have expertise in a dedicated FEA or CFD software as well. And same goes for machining software. Although these regular softwares like SOLIDWORKS, KTI, they already have workbenches that are quite capable. And you can use these workbenches for FEA and CFD. Still, they are not as robust as the dedicated software like ENSYS for simulation and MasterCAM for machining. So if you want to add software to your skill set, then make sure you have one parametric software, a simulation software, and a machining software. And you should master at least one software from each of these three main niches. Of course, I'm assuming that these are also your area of expertise and these are the areas where you want to go into the industry. If they are not relevant, don't learn about these specific role-specific industry softwares. Now, but one thing should be common among all these things, and that is AutoCAD. AutoCAD is the foundation for engineers who are starting to learn design software, and you should learn it as first software if you are just starting out. AutoCAD 3D is not super advanced or parametric, so you can skip that if you are learning AutoCAD, but having a working knowledge of AutoCAD 3D is also good to have. So if you are learning, just have a working knowledge of AutoCAD 3D. Now, there should be no compromise when learning AutoCAD 2D. In fact, we have, again, a really great AutoCAD 2D Essentials course that covers everything about AutoCAD 2D as well as 3D in complete detail on SourceCAD. Once again, completely free of charge, no gimmicks, anything. Just 
click the link in the description and sign up and start learning with that AutoCAD free course. Also, you'll get a certificate when you finish that course. The link is in the description as mentioned previously. Now, finally, this is something that I'm not very comfortable in talking about as I hardly know anything about it, but that's also quite important nowadays. It's about learning programming languages like Python or Lisp. Increasingly, I've seen the tremendous usefulness in the industry and having its knowledge will make you a highly sought after individual in the industry. But as I said, I don't know much about these languages. Actually, I don't know anything about programming languages. So I'd like to know what you think about learning programming languages for a mechanical engineer. Let me know about this in the comments down below. And that was all about this topic from me. Which topic you want us to cover in the next video? Let me know in the comments again and I'll see you in the next one.